What's up, people? This is the That's What's Up podcast. And I am your host, H I double G N Z. The pleasure of serving in five administrations. Um, I thought I would bring that perspective to the topic today is the issue of pandemic uh, preparedness. And if there's one message that I want to leave with you today based on my experience, and you'll see that in a moment, is that there is no question that there will be a challenge in the coming administration in the arena of infectious diseases, both chronic infectious diseases in the sense of already ongoing disease, and we have certainly a large burden of that. But also there will be a surprise outbreak. There will be a surprise outbreak. And there will be a surprise outbreak. So what you guys think about that? That is Mr. Fauci, right? Everybody knows who Mr. Fauci is. He's a uh, uh, truth to power, right? Nah. Anyway, shout out to everyone who had watched the last video that I had posted on this channel, which was a one-minute snippet from my That's What's Up podcast, which I would like to call a pilot. Done on another channel. This is the first official episode. We're going on my channel, revamp this thing. And look, I was really highly motivated once I saw all the comments that I had gotten from that video when I showed people this video, uh, th this actual quote that I had found on a video from my own research and to get it out to everyone. And that's what's great about this platform is because content can be recycled and it should be and the reason why is because sometimes it's really hard to find it if it's only on one video but i am really impressed i it was it a lot of feedback and it wasn't just a couple words nice really good job it was intricate details where people were really emotional and when, when people write you in paragraphs that means they really got something to say you know and we are, it is May 12th. This is three days, what, three, four days before they actually start a phase one, especially in my state, Louisiana, where certain things are going to start to open up, where they just kind of let, leak the doors open, you know, and until the gates hopefully open all the way back up. But at this rate, I don't know if that's going to happen. So on Friday, let me give you a little breakdown of what they're telling us will be open in my state of Louisiana. Okay. And this is with a 25% occupancy limit. And I think this is being told federally too. So gyms and fitness centers. All right. Barbershops. Hair and nail salons, casinos and video poker, theaters, racetracks, museums, zoos, aquariums, no tactile exhibits. And for all my bar heads looking to party and get down and do it big, hold your horses. Bars and breweries with LDH food permits. And with that being said, it's going to be no bar. It's going to be tables. And they're going to be spread out. A good 10 feet apart. Nice distance where you guys are going to have to keep away from each other. They're going to sanitize everything three or four times. They should open up. You know how when you go to like the beach and they got those those waterfalls. But you, you know, you turn on the shower, cool yourself off, a little mister or something like that. They should, as soon as you walk through, just hit you with the sanitizer. A little psh, spray in and out. Right. Every time you walk in and out the bathroom, you get hit with sanitizer. Cause that's what this shit's coming to. It's it's sad. You know, I, I want my freedom back. I really do. You know, I want things to come back to normal, and everything. Everybody's just kind of starting to get a little worked up, but. You know, people are, are resilient and they're patient. But the day that you tell them that you can't do this anymore, 
which they haven't said yet, you're going to have problems. And, and some of these government officials, I can promise you, they don't want it to go back to normal. And this is a test. It's definitely a test. I know this is a real thing. Not saying that at all. Reason to be concerned, yes. But what the fuck is it? Look, I don't know. And now I don't believe the news. You got, you could just tell it's an election year, people. And they always, they do it anyway. But one color's telling you, we need to hold off. The other color's telling you, if we do not come back, we're going to have a lot bigger problems than we had before. And I know one thing that we're definitely going to have is that if eventually our goods and services are going to disappear if there's no one to make them. That's, that's the truth, all right? If you don't have anyone to sew you a shirt in a factory, eventually you won't have any more shirts. And that's something simple. That's a shirt. Just think about food process. Right? If we don't have anyone to actually process food and package it and ship it out because we're afraid of getting sick, we all gonna get sick and die anyway. So eventually you gotta take, you gotta take your chances. You gotta roll your dice and take the chances. Truth, truth be it told, no one's gonna let themselves starve. It's impossible. It is impossible. If that was the case, then you would tell you spoiled kid that would that that don't want to eat dinner. You could just let them go because eventually they're gonna eat it. I can promise you they're gonna eat. They're not gonna let themselves die. No one will let themselves die. So it's gonna open up one way or another. It's gonna open up. Just beware of the control factor. Now, it is a real thing though. And I'll tell you this, I, I, I listened to this podcast today, Rogan's podcast, they had a guy named Michael Yo on there who's actually, who, who caught it. He gives this full detailed story about how he caught it, but I want to keep it real simple because this was the one thing that stood out to me the most. Question everything, right? Ventilator? No. My doctor, did they put you on a ventilator? No. My doctor saved my life. My doctor said, if we put you on a ventilator, he said that, he says, because a nurse brought it up, should we put him on a ventilator? And he goes, no way. If we put him on a ventilator, he's going to die because his body is going to say, okay, this machine is breathing for us. We don't need to work anymore. And your body shuts down. If you heard in New York, 80% of the people put on ventilators die. And that's why you think? I think that's why I survived. I've heard that. Now. When I heard that, I was like, whoa. And the reason why I was like, whoa, was like this. Two reasons, because I heard it yesterday. And shout out to the people who actually commented on my, my Fortune video where I, I showed actually what was in the intro. And um, this was one of the things, comments, one of the links in the comments. And I'm not going to say it, because if I say it, you get trouble, right? You can get trouble. There's some automated shit clocking what we do because i can promise you because when i drop a mixtape on youtube i get that email immediately all right if i'm using someone else's content i get that email immediately check this out i want you guys to go look that up with a www dot and then a dot com at the end of it okay it's a movie that's supposed to come out over the summer there's a doctor that's being banned off youtube for um, being one of the first ones to speak out that as a part of this project, she said the same thing about the ventilators. Um, so what, what, what that comes into question is, is right now, you know, it's a cloud full of smoke, right? It's like kick ass, ask questions later kind of attitude. When all the smoke clears and these documents Right, because all this stuff is documented. It should be on file. You know, as long as it's all accurate, not tampered with. Wink, wink, wink. How many doctors, once they figure out more about this, are gonna look at that shit and be like, "Damn, I lost 
X amount of lives because using that machine that we begged and pleaded for. I don't know. Shit's just getting, it's getting weirder and weirder every day. And with that being said, this is the That's What's Up podcast, and I'm going to end it like this. Questioning you. First episode, I got to ask you, what's up? I don't know. As we ride out, we're going to listen to this music. This is the End of the World remix, which is, you know, an old R.E.M. song. I turned it into my version of it. It starts in, with like an outbreak Bad snakes and aeroplane Dave Chappelle thinks it's stage Mardi Gras, they parade Listen to your own sneeze Bystander says, God bless See your throat beats Jackass snatch his own Just because his own greed Feed and negativity Peace will always be the Peace out And I will see y'all Next time